Hi, I'm the captain of 946R. I'm gonna answer some of your field questions and try to preemptively answer some of them too. There's, there's the cat. I'm golf on the forums and yeah, comment any questions. So to start, I know a lot of people are planning or are at least thinking about tipping goals and maybe wedging them under the platform. So the alliance goals go pretty far before tipping. They actually balance right, right at 90 degrees. And of course they fall over, but it's really easy to bring them back up. And to fit them under the goal is a little bit awkward because you'll have to tip it and then push it in, which is just weird. And then it doesn't do much, but it's a little bit tough to pull out. But like I said, it probably won't do much because the other team can just do that. But it is in there pretty good. We can check the tall mobile goal for anybody who's wondering. Because you can't get it in as far, it's much easier to pull out. Just gotta yank it here. Um, back, back to the tipping points of mobile goals, your short mobile goal. It can go pretty far without tipping. Like really far actually. And at about 90 degrees it will fall over. There's my cat getting stuck in the wall. Um, some of you are thinking about flinging rings off. Yes, uh, branches will only comfortably hold four and very specifically can hold five, but it needs to all go on like that. Let's see if I can get it. Yes, it can hold five, but any, any tap will knock it off. And as for the tolerances of flinging, the, for the most part, they stay on really good. I should, I should not have said that. <laughs> but yeah. Rain flinging can work, but you have to bring it back pretty far. And I find it, I find it unlikely that an alliance that has grabbed a mobile goal is just going to let it go. Um, as for this little tipping point, the, the tall mobile goal doesn't have to go too far before falling. <laughs> before falling over. Excuse the shaky camera work. It hits about a little bit past 45, sort of where, <laughs> where the weight and the plastic are both touching the ground. That's about where it tips. But the cool thing is that if you load it with four rings on each branch, If you load it with about four rings on each branch, it should. It has a balancing point wherever that is. It looks like, yeah, that's its balancing point. So loaded with rings, it will balance, but it means it's super easy to knock over because it doesn't have to go as far. Only about there, it's gonna fall over. Most every single rain is gonna fall off. Look at that. If you load it with reins, if you if you get the tall mobile goal at all, you obviously want to hold on to it. If you load it with reins, it, it's going to have a really easy time to fall over. So be careful of that. Um, <laughs> and for field resetters and refs, when it does fall over, this might be how I assembled my goal, but these branches got knocked out of place and they're not a perfect plus anymore. It's a really easy fix, but it's something to keep an eye out. Um, one of the big burning questions was the bridge tolerance, or the platform tolerance. So let me see if I can... No. No. Okay, that's the view you're gonna get. It has a post in the way, but that should be fine. Um, so, from a full balance, it's... it. it, it not, not it, from a full tilt, and it is connected to the wall, so it's as stable as it's going to be. 
Um, you definitely notice this box shaking a lot more, but with the weight of robots and mobile goals, that really shouldn't be a problem. It's, really, it's a really good balance. It's unlikely there will ever be a case where it's important when it's empty. Um, and then some of the tolerances are Alliance mobile goals can go over the letters and not, and not tilt over. And when it is tilted over, the Alliance mobile goals will stay. The short mobile goals can go pretty close to the Alliance ones, over the letters also, and the platform will still stay. Um, this will also just barely hold on when it's tilted. But the tall mobile goal, it can only get about two of the letters before tilting. It can go a little bit over, actually. Yeah, that's, a, that's about as far as the tall mobile goal can go before tilting. But once it does tilt over, this one will fall off. <laughs> I believe that's about all the questions. Um, I guess we'll go to the blue one. Here's your one inch something in between the platform and the wall. Um, I know one person's question is, do they stay tilted in the direction? No, unlike crossover, there aren't magnets under the platform, so it will not stay. Here's the tilt. Yeah, um, I'll make as many videos of this field as you guys need. Uh, just comment the question you want answered. Someone asked in the last video. Um, this wall is two, two and a half inches exactly. But yeah, comment any more questions you have about the field and I'll make a new video answering them. Thank you. Uh, good luck, everybody.